Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be trying to make an SSTO that's more like an SSRT or single staged rocket technology. The terminology was coined a long time ago by, was it, McDonald Douglas? Now they're called something else completely different. I'd have to look that up. Hold on, let me look that up. Let's, uh, was it McDonald? No, not McDonald's. Uh, as a major American aerospace manufacturer, corporation, and, uh, ah, they're known as Boeing now. Okay. Okay, so SSRT means single stage rocket, rocket technology. There we are. Here's a good picture from back in the day. Ha, huh, Boeing. All right there, it says McDonnell Douglas. Okay, yeah, that's funny. So anyway, pretty interesting stuff here. Like the Delta Clipper design had the fuel tank on the bottom and a fuel tank on top. And the cargo was actually in the middle. I actually, uh, this design really does work in RSSRO. I've already built something very similar to it. Anywho, what the hell was I talking about? Ah, yes. Building a rocket space plane. A, a craft that launches like a plane and lands like a plane. Okay, let's 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 try this, shall we? 0 0.9, weight's gonna be a big thing. 1.1, too heavy. 0 0.7, pretty good. We're gonna build something small first. We're not gonna go straight to medium. Alright, so this one is the lightest one, 0 0.5, but the, but the issue I have with it is that it it's not very aerodynamic. It's gonna create a lot of drag, which is gonna slow things down a lot. So we're gonna do a little twi twist, which is like a test, but it's very twisty. Okay, uh, cockpit test in three, two, one. This one's the lightest, so it's gonna start. Ooh, wow, okay. Uh huh. But what happens when it starts running into aerodynamic forces? Ah, there this one goes. There it goes. And it's speeding. Oh, that one down there just lost it. And that one down there just lost it. So this was the first one that wigged out. Why did this one wig out? Whoa, whoa, okay. Wow, a lot of weird stuff. Then that one guy just lost it. Eh, yeah. <laughs> You're pointing the wrong way. <laughs> Full power and go. Oh, there's a lot of drag. A lot of drag, and then it pulls on it, and... Ah, okay. See, this one drag. It's already started. This drag right here. This is just a parachute, almost. Wow, that drag is real big, but there's hardly any drag on this. Okay, those two flip out, naturally. Look at... There's no drag. The tiny... It's like the drag is gone. Okay, so we're going to start off with this rocket, um, this cockpit. Let me check the ISP on this one. Engine ISP is 265. What's the engine ISP on this one? 285. Damn! So not only does this weigh the same amount as the uh, Reliant, but its ISP is actually higher. Mm. Okay, same spacecraft, uh, different engine type test in 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow. Okay. So the uh, swivel is dying, or will it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It it might be a it might be a slow learner. It might <laughs> it might take a while to get up there, but eventually we'll pass everybody. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, swivel. Okay, swivel's being left behind. Reliant is on the chase. It's definitely a lot more than uh, the swivel, but. Something tells me the other rocket's gonna blow everything out of the water. And she's off, leaving everybody behind in her wake. Alright, we broke 2,000 meters per second at an altitude of 396. A little bit faster and a little bit higher, but not too far off from the Reliant. Still, a little bit better in every way, so we'll be going with this engine. But this engine does not have a gimbal, so in order to help us with control, we will need an engine with gimbal ability. But to help us even more in space, I think we're going to go for a more 
space orientated rocket. Now the Terrier is a great low tech um, space engine. You can use this to go interplanetary and everything. It's beautiful. It's not super great, but it's not horrible. Now, of course, I could go for the Aero Spike. That's like second to the rapier. We're gonna, you know, leave that one alone. Now, I've already did an experiment with these uh, um, uh, nose cones, and the small one right here, the aerodynamic nose cone, is the best. It's uh, It gets its superpower from the fact that it's so light, regardless if it's not pointy or sharp. It's extremely light to any other cone. Even if you're to make your own with a fairing, this would beat them all. I've tested it before, trust me. All right, auto strut everything, auto strut, good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Now, according to this, we only have 3,700 Delta V, which is not great. The trick here is to actually use as little of wings as possible since wings creates drag and it's gonna kill us. Hmm, it's looking very, uh, very fascinating here. Uh, let's take out the monopropellant. I am not trying to dock with anything. We're just trying to get up there. Okay, new plan. New plan. All right. New plan. Um, uh, take that. New plan. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. New plan. Um, hmm. Oh, it can stick to the sides. Well, that's nice. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually put one right here and one under here. Okay, I have like zero faith <laughs> zero faith in this design. I don't feel comfortable with this at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel comfortable with this at all. Okay, uh see us. <laughs> Turn the first pair of engines on. And here we go. Try to get up as fast as possible. Alright. Hey, hey, focus, focus. Fo there is no control. Zero control. That is not a good. Alright, yeah. There we go. I mean, I know that the rocket plume would completely destroy this side. Which is bothering the hell out of me since, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a science guy and that, that that's just bothering the hell out of me right now. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lift up. And we're going to do about 45. Once we get out of the very, very thick atmosphere, which is about 8,000 meters. And okay, going prograde. All right, turning her off, coasting up. Got a lot more speed out of that. Engaging secondary. The closer to your apoapsis, the more bang for your buck. Well, that's it then. We're in space and we are in a stable orbit. Hmm. So, yeah, again, I mean, I hate to say this, but that's bothering the ever living poop out of me right now. All right, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try something else here. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, well, we have a lot more fuel left over for sure. We were able to get up there just fine. If we start adding lights and RCS thrusters, it's gonna slow us down a little bit, but the concept works. Now here comes the fun part, uh, is landing this sucker.
Come on, I know I can land at the key. S. C. Come on, I know I got this. I got this. I got this. I got it. I got it. I really, really do. I really got this. I got this. Come on. No, oh dear. Whoa. Gosh damn it, Nose. You can cool down now. Son of a biscuit. All right, lowering gears. This is it. <laughs> ah, very nice. Very, very nice. And man, I feel sorry for that curl right now. He is baking. Oh, she is baking. Good, 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 Munga. All right. Well, I mean, I'm all out of time, but this was actually quite fun, and I think I'll, I think I'll make a part two of this. And we'll try to make it so it uh, does something. I mean, it, it's kind of worthless right now without the ability to actually do something. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of the channel. We will definitely be doing a part two and try to make this thing useful. So until then, take care and I will see you all later. I am Veos, signing off and have a good day. Or night, day night, midday night. Uh, <sighs> you know... Share, like, and subscribe.